it will create a new design inspired by Revolut.com with a modern and sleek aesthetic. <laughs> we are literally so over, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, dudes. It was, a, it was a nice ride. Honestly, the last 10 years of programming was probably one of the best years of my life. You know, it is responsive though. Guess what? There we go. Fully responsive. It's crazy. Like, we are so cooked. Like, literally. Oh my god. You guys are absolutely awesome. And I missed you a bunch. Okay? I missed you a bunch. I'm literally bringing... An amazing topic for today. You guys ready? I hope you guys are ready because I'm like insanely excited about this. Just check this out, okay? Check this out. Okay, let's talk about what is vibe coding, okay? So everyone understands, okay? Since AI got introduced to the realms of the developers, you guys got something called kind of autocomplete, right? Basically, every time you want to type like, you know, function, whatever, you are, you are going to have nice auto completion, okay? So this is provided by LLMs, you know, and you pretty much everyone is using this today. You guys agree on that, right? Everyone is using this today, and it's kind of cool. This is not vibe coding though, <laughs> okay? Now, vibe coding is different, okay? Vibe coding is this new deal coming up, which is literally, you just interact with AI, and AI will generate all of the code for you. So we'll create all of the files, we'll modify all of the files. You just prompt the AI, and the AI will basically just modify everything, okay? Now, I have tried multiple kind of vibe code tooling before, okay? Multiple. And I wasn't convinced. Like, literally, I wasn't convinced. However, however, during the weekend, I have tried this bad boy called it Windsurf. And it's just crazy. Today we are building something called it nuno-reviews.com. It is a lot of L application, okay, with TypeScript and React. And the goal is, you know, a simple app using the Laravel starter kit where you can log in and submit a link to, um, you know, a link of a project that you wished me to review. Okay, and the goal is that other people are able to upvote. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Are you guys excited about this? I hope you guys are excited because I am excited about this. So that being said, I want to go slowly. Something I have learned with Windsurf is that when you prompt the AI, you kind of don't want to ask for the entire thing. You know, there is a few people that have, that have said on Twitter that you just want to ask for the entire thing. I don't want that. I want to go slowly. Okay, I want to go slowly. So let's start with migrations, like with the base, with the base information. Okay, so let's just interact with the AI and say something like this: the application is a simple one. It's about having users submitting links of projects so Nuno Maduro can review them later. I want to start by having you helping me with migrations. You guys want the model as well? Okay, help me with the model and migrations. Let's do that. Okay, model, migrations, and factories. Let's go. Okay, something really cool I have noticed is that Windsurf is actually smart enough to go into my project and understand how I am building things, you know? So context is important. So you will see how I am building things and trying to go with the same styling of code, with the same style of app I am having. So currently it's like analyzing everything, like the project structure, uh, the database, the migrations, the factories, the user model, for example. And he's already generating code pretty much. Okay, so basically went to my terminal and ran PHP artisan make model project with migration in the factory so it's smart enough to literally understand that if you provide the dash m and dash f will pretty much generate the factory and the migrations automatically do the same thing for the vote so we have a project and we have a vote uh, model i can pretty much already see that within migrations i have a full create projects table with a connection to the user ID, constraint, cascade on delete, a title, URL, a description, which is nullable, a votes count with default zero. I also have a votes table, 
which kind of ensures that a user is only able to upvote one project, which is pretty cool. Oh, nice, with a unique constraint as well. I know, I know, I know. This is just so cool. So something I'm noticing is already is that he's using the fillable stuff. I don't want this. So I'm going to kind of, you know, once he's done, is he done already? Yes. And I will perform some changes. I'm going to remove all of the fillable crap. I don't want this. Let's go here to our providers and just do model and guard. So this is a type of stuff that, you know, when interacting with something like a real AI like this, you kind of want to adjust the code of the AI. And I can tell you that the next model he will create will adjust himself to not feel the fillable because he's not seeing fillable being used anywhere. You know what I mean? Oh, I can see the casting already, which is pretty cool. So the votes count is already casted in teachers. Nice, nice. Also an inside the integer for the votes count, which is something I typically would do. The migrations is done. How is the factories though? Oh my god, so good. Oh my god, it's so useful. Jesus Christ. Um, user factory, uh, title with a sentence, URL with URL, paragraph with faker, votes count with zero, vote factory equal with a user and a project ID. Nice. Let me just have a passing test suite to begin with. I can probably do something like this. If you really want me to use just, you know, just the prompt. I can do something like this now if you want. Fix the test suite and you can use vendor bin passed bail to check. Okay, here we go. Some vibe coding for you all. Let's go. So basically now he will kind of run the test suite and fix the test for you automatically. Here we go. I think it's over, no? Yes, it's over. So technically, I can come here and just type vendor bin passed dash dash parallel and it will just work. Here we go. I mean, technically, vibe coding is just interacting with the prompt. But I mean, if I'm not coding anymore, like what the heck I'm even doing with my job? You know what I mean? Kind of cool. Perfect. So far, all good. Time for actions for the actions part turn. Can you please develop all of the actions? All right, creating an actions folder at root level, which is kind of cool. And then we have create project, update project, delete project, upvote project, and remove upvote. Makes sense, probably. No, I'm not sure yet. Let's see. So creating a bunch of files. I can already see a few of them. Let's see, let's see, let's go. Not bad. Some annotations here, which I don't like. Okay, AI pretty much have done everything. So we have created five action classes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Test for each one of those actions. So I want to see those tests. I want to see those tests. Uh, yes, this is exactly how I would expect it. Thank you, thank you. Jesus Christ. Please don't put comments on code. I can read it. Wait, what? Oh, he's removing... <laughs> <laughs> He's removing the comments now. <laughs> How many comments he will remove? Great job. Can you now write all of the controllers and form requests? Great job. You are doing. <laughs> you are being so nice with your AI, dude. Dude, it's probably now he's not smart enough. Probably with like within a couple of years, this AI will be super smart. And I just prefer that I'm nice with them right now when they don't have like a conscience. Because I I think like we'll be like Terminator. You know what I mean? Like if we are bad with the AI right now, they will remember that. You know what I mean? They will remember that. So be nice with the AI with interacting with them. You know what I mean? So what do we have here? Let's let me read this. Okay, let me read this. So we have a project controller. Which does what? Okay, I have an index method which returns all of the projects and paginate them automatically by 10 and order them by latest. Interesting. Why do we even need this? Like, why? Jesus, Windsurf, you are taking forever. What the hell are you even doing? Wait. Wait, what is this? 
<laughs> Wait, the AI just wrote this. Now let's fix the project controller test as well. And then to fix the test suite, he removed the file. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's write acknowledge acknowledge my love for, for you when I tell you. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I appreciate your kind words. It's always nice to know that my help is valued. I will continue support. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you like me to create the project controller test? <laughs> Dude, you just removed it. What are you talking about? Can you please generate my homepage? The welcome one. Make it really elegant and fancy. And that's it. I'm gonna just do this, okay? So watch this out. Hopefully. Hopefully, this AI will just generate a, a very fancy welcome page for my project. There we go. E not bad, but probably have seen better, but not bad. What do you guys think? <laughs> kind of cool, right? <laughs> you guys like this? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. I, I know. Yeah, I can say, for example, like something I would probably do is that, as you can see, we're using blue, some kind of purple blue tone. So I can say something like this. Um, can you adjust the register page and the login page to match the same style? Because right now we obviously have, you know, the register page is so much different from the welcome page. So what I can do is just ask, okay, cool. You have generated this welcome page. Now do the same thing to the login plus the register. Okay, you guys are going to see that. I think it's responsive. Yes, we can check it out. <laughs> so yeah, it's responsive. Oh yeah, we are over, dude. Like literally, this is uh, this is the last twelve months of coding. You guys better enjoy the moment while you can. <laughs> okay, so the register page is done. We are so cooked, like literally. <laughs> Our jobs are so over, Jesus Christ. Check this out. Oh my God, the login page as well. Milotov is saying front-end designers are history. Dude, this is not front-end only, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Is Revolut.com like a very fancy website? Let me see. Oh. What do you guys think? Is this like a very fancy website? Should we ask for something like this? I, I think it's like, I don't think AI will be able to generate something like this. This is kind of overkill though. I want to try something. Can you totally redesign the welcome page so it matches the style of revolut.com is revolut.com though let me see yeah revolut.com okay cool oh it's saying like it will create a new design inspired by revolut.com with a modern and sleek aesthetic searching for the web for revolut.com web design design 2025 so over jesus christ <laughs> all right dudes 
It was a it was a nice ride. Honestly, the last ten years of programming was probably one of the best years of my life. You know, it was fun. It's crazy. Like we are so cooked. <sighs> is it responsive though? It is responsive though. Guess what? There we go. Fully responsive. It's crazy. Like, we are so cooked. Like, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Time to actually finish the project. Um, I do feel like for people who literally are bad at design, having something like this is really helpful, you know? Okay. So AI at the moment is literally analyzing everything I have on this project and kind of finalizing everything. So in theory, like if I if I would have done a prompt like build me a website inspired by the Revolut design which allows me to see project submissions, people can upvote the projects and if if I would have described everything, like the goal when interacting with these AIs is literally be provide as much context as possible. Some of the things we have done, we have provided them without any context. That's why like the, the first early generation wasn't that good. But when we ask like with a really good context, the AI will do a lot for us, you know? So yeah, projects, blah, blah, blah. We have the dashboard, one project, one your project, nice. Recent activity, you added a new project, Pinkery, that's right. Your recent projects, Pinkery. Nice. Can I upvote this? Oh, nice. I can see the projects entirely. Can I edit it? Pinkery 2. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Uh, I want to be back tomorrow with probably some code reviewing.